Hi, welcome to setting up a Windows XP virtual machine for Barbie High School Mystery. Now, I am currently, currently, currently on build 17.5.2 of VMware. I will have a link to this in the description. Um, last time I checked, the website was down, but it might be up again. So first, we're going to click Create New Virtual Machine. Um, it does this by default, but because I did this recently, um, it does Installer Disk Image, which is what we want. So click Browse. Go to wherever you have everything downloaded. <laughs> uh, and then click Windows XP Professional with Service Pack 3, I think. <laughs> Now the product key, ooh la la, let's get that pulled up. That's so exciting, oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, yep, so just copy and paste and oh wow, wowie, that's crazy. <laughs> just, oh, I'm going to do it as a single file. This isn't really super important, but I just like changing it. And we're going to power on the VM after creation. And now, it, this is easy install. So easy install is starting. And that just means it's going to do everything for me. So I click in. And then to get out of the virtual machine, do Control-Alt. And you have control of your regular mouse again. So I'm just going to let this go. And I'll check back in once I need to start doing stuff. All right, I'm going to hit OK on this. It's normal. It's happened every time I've set this particular disk up. And once we get in here, I believe it should start installing um, VMware tools um, immediately. And you definitely want to let that happen. I think it makes the mouse smoother on the screen. Yeah, it's doing this automatically. So I'm just going to leave that be. And it does that automatically. I didn't click anything. Um, I, I couldn't tell you what it does. And yeah, it's restarting on its own. <laughs> it's super easy. I like this a lot more than setting up Windows 95. I'll tell you that. <laughs> it's, it's just so nice. It's so convenient, dude. <laughs> Um, but I also will go over, um, how to fix, um, some weird audio issues. You might not have weird audio issues, and I'm gonna talk about, there are some other solutions, but I'll share with you the one that worked for me. And I didn't have to, like, install any external, any external programs at all, so it just fixes the issue across the board. So it sounds normal, thankfully. Hi, so this is a fix if your audio sounds like slowed down, like it's da 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 da, and like it's crackly. This is a comment on a video. The video itself wasn't helpful, I'm so sorry. Um, but all I did was turn some settings off in my Windows 11 and it worked. So the first thing you want to go to is Windows Security. And then on the left hand side, you want to go to Device Security. Then go to Core Isolation Detail and make sure memory integrity is turned off. Also, I want to say thank you to the two commenters here. Y'all are godsends. Um, so then the next thing you want to do is you want to go to turn Windows features on or off. Then you want to make sure Windows hypervisor platform is off, w virtual machine platform is off, and make sure Hyper-V is turned off. And you'll need to do a restart of your computer after you turn these settings off, by the way. The last thing you want to make sure at the end is make sure virtualization-based security is off. So type in msinfo32 at the bottom. 
and I just typed in virtual at the bottom here to find it faster. Um, and then I go down to, and virtualization based security is not enabled. And doing all of that fixed my sound issue. Everything sounds normal. And you could see in the tutorial I did that the startup sound was totally fine. And that was not happening before. I don't know if an update messed it up, but yeah. Also, I'm showing you these videos of other sound fixes, quote unquote. I'm not endorsing them. I'm not saying they work, but these are the other options if what I just showed you didn't work because I am not the best at virtual machines. You can tell because I read random fucking comments for my solutions, okay? So I, I am like you. I am a commoner. <laughs> Again, I, you can see in the comments, it helped some of these people. I imagine some people didn't get help. Um, I, again, take all of these with a grain of salt. Back to me now. So now that your sound is fixed, let's install Barbie High School Mystery. So go to settings, up in the player, go to browse. You're going to want to find your Barbie High School Mystery data ISO. Make sure you hit connected for device status. And as soon as you get done with that, it should just, there we go. So we click install. Um, we leave everything default. We accept the terms, you know, sell our immortal soul to Barbie. Amen. All right, we finish. And after we click in, it all should work perfectly well. Or not. Oh, another instance is currently running. Uh, don't send that report. Okay, I'm gonna let this cycle through. I'm just gonna try clicking it again. And we'll see if that fixes the issue. <laughs> don't know what caused that. Don't know at all what caused that, because it's it shouldn't look like this. <laughs> if I do that, there we go, and we do that, or maybe I messed it up more. <laughs> uh, let me do uh, alt. Oh, oh, oh! It came back on. Okay. <laughs> oh, let's try that again. Okay. Uh, I'll click it. <laughs> Okay, it just works. It just works. It just works. It's so easy. There's never any issues at all when you set this program up. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> if there are any DLL issues or DirectX issues, um, I made a video for that. I'll link it, I guess. Um, but yeah, uh, this should work. It, it should just work. 